declamation contest. Speakers, you moved me to tears again and again. And if I was moved to tears, not as a Pakistani, not as a Kashmiri, but as a global citizen, I think your presentations and your speeches should move the United Nations Secretary General to tears as well. If he cares for humanity, and he should not hide behind these blunt statements, and he should not artificially balance his position vis-a-vis -vis India and Pakistan. He always says that he would be ready to offer his good offices if India and Pakistan concur. Why would India concur? India is the criminal. India is the terrorist. Why would India concur, for God's sake? And why is the United Nations Secretary General and the United Nations Security Council, why are they using double standards? Because that same standard is not invoked or used in certain African Republic or South Sudan or Mali or Syria or Yemen. Why is this double standard reserved only for Kashmir? I can go on and on, but I would again like to be brief. I think one of the recommendations that I have for the government of Pakistan, for the state of Pakistan, is that don't talk to India on Kashmir at all. Don't talk to Kashmir, don't talk to India on Kashmir at all, because all these bilateral talks have been unproductive and fruitless. India has already closed all doors on you for bilateral dialogue. Why should we talk about bilateral dialogue? Why should we talk about behind the scenes diplomacy or backdoor diplomacy? What diplomacy vis-a-vis -vis India? Are they ever going to give justice to the people of Jammu and Kashmir through backdoor diplomacy or bilateral diplomacy? No. No way. And we know the mind and mindset of Narendra Modi and his followers and the mind and mindset of Rashtriya Swayam Sevak son, the extremist, violent extremists in India who are terrorizing now Kashmiris. And my appeal to Mehbooba Mufti and other cohorts in the PDP and the national conferences do not facilitate India's aggression in IOK because you give them a democratic face or the facade of a democratic face. You become criminals by abetting them. You become facilitators in criminal acts, in these heinous criminal acts. One speaker said, I think it was uh, Mr. Idris Abbasi, that it should be, Kashmir should be as important as Palestine. Kashmir should be more important than Palestine. Let me tell you. <laughs> Palestine gets all the attention. Attention of the European Union, the United Nations. They have a seat in the United Nations, for God's sake. Kashmiris are represented only through the sovereign window of Pakistan. And Kashmir should be put higher on the agenda of the international community. It should be an Islamic cause. It should be a cause dear not only the, to the people of Jammu and Kashmir and to the people of Pakistan, but it should be an Islamic cause not only of the Islamic countries, but Islamic diaspora. Because, as I said right in the beginning, that these are not human rights violations that are taking place there. These are crimes against humanity. These are crimes of genocide and ethnic cleansing. Why are Kashmiris being targeted? Yes, they are Kashmiris and they want to join Pakistan, but also because they are Muslims. This is called ethnic cleansing. And that's why, because they want to reduce the number of Kashmiris in the Indian occupied Kashmir. Let me also say that the criminality of India in Jammu and Kashmir, the occupied Kashmir, is established beyond a shadow of doubt. And speaker after speaker supported that contention and substantiated with facts and figures. And I'm proud of what you did. One of the speakers appealed to all of you to use the hashtag Kashmir Matters. And it was he or she, it was a she. And she wanted a response. So would you go to the Twitter account, your Twitter account today, and 
tweet, contribute a tweet on Kashmir today, please raise your hands. And the hashtag is called Kashmir Matters, right? Media here, the media here is very well represented. And I hope that Pakistan television is here. There's a channel called PTV World. If you have recorded the proceedings and the speeches of these students, I would say that please broadcast them in full. And please broadcast them in full. Because as I said right in the beginning, I have never heard such an informative and at the same time such passionate debate on Kashmir and such loud and clear voice about Kashmir coming from the youth of Kashmir and coming from the youth of Pakistan. My last point is that I will give two special prizes from amongst ten contestants. But I would not reveal it now so that I do not inadvertently influence the judgment of the judges. Probably they are immune to that. They, they would not do that. But still I take this precaution that I have liked all the speeches from one to ten. But I have liked two the most and I'll give them my personal prizes. Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, once again, I am grateful to honorable judges for their valuable time and contribution. I would like to invite Mr. Iltaf Hussain Wani for announcement of results. Mr. Iltaf Hussain Wani.